Well, we've looked at English bond and English bond attached pairs. So uh, now we're going to look at the English bond uh, isolated or detached pairs. And again, this is just a sample from uh, a page of the book. Um, so again, what we're going to do is we're going to blow these ones out. But if uh, we can just see here, we've got one and a half brick, two brick, and two and a half brick. So we're just going to see how the bonded arrangements change. Um, but obviously keeping them in English bond. So before we go into that, if we just remind ourselves again of uh, English bond, I know we keep doing this, but it's always uh, good to have these reminders. Uh, what we're looking for is a course of stretches and a course of headers. So if we just bear that in mind every time we're um, trying to figure out the arrangements of these, um, Hopefully we shouldn't go too far wrong. So again, English bond is a course of stretches followed by a course of headers. So if we will look at the first one, we can see we have one and a half brick. Now, before we go into looking at um, the first example, which is the one and a half brick, um, here we are there. Uh, before we actually go into that, I'm just going to do a quick little sketch on how we see most brick and a half um, pairs. Now, if I just highlight this a little bit heavier, because I have noticed after watching a lot of the videos that I've put on uh, where I've um, drawn in pencil it's very easy for me to see what I'm doing here on the drawing board but um, when it comes out on the film it doesn't really come out um, as highlighted as what I was hoping so I've changed to a 4B pencil now so hopefully you'll be able to see this a lot better so I set a pair a brick and a half normally speaking what you see on a daily basis is something like this Stretch it there. And again, if it's a, a stretcher bond wall, great. If it's a Flemish bond wall, you can see you've got a stretcher and a header in the same course. So if I just write there, stretcher. And if it's a Flemish, then again, that would be acceptable. Um, however, if we're doing an English bond wall and we have a, a gate pair uh, one side and we want to do it brick and a half then this is not what we're after again because a stretcher and a header in the same course doesn't really meet with what we're looking for with English bond so bearing that in mind we're now going to be looking at our first one so we can see here that we have one and a half brick and what we want to be looking for here is obviously a course of stretches and a course of headers. It doesn't matter which ones we start off with as long as they alternate. So again we can see here um, with this being uh, one and a half brick if we were to draw a brick there we could see that that pattern would be a stretcher and a header. A stretcher looking there and a header there. So again we're looking uh, what we just um, sketched previously. So again, what we did say is we are in English bond. Now the correct bonding for a, an English bond one and a half brick pair involves every single brick to be cut because if we see here that we want headers on this face here, so a header would be there and again, for sectional bond, which is a rule of English bond, we've got to go all the way through. But and then we would have to go through there as well. So you can see this shows three headers. And on this side, we've got three quarters, which obviously um, are acceptable in a stretcher face. So you can see that we have got six three quarters in this course. Then when we come to the next course 
these are just spun round and this is what we find on every isolated pair or detached pair that whatever you do in your first course is just spun through 90 degrees to give you the next course so where you can see that this went through here this then obviously we want the two three quarters on top of here so the three quarters then become so you can see in them two courses every single brick is a three quarter and just so that we can see this um, in action here we have our three headers and then the three quarters there so you can see this is true English bond because we have the headers and then we have a stretch of course all BM in three quarters but again this is the correct procedure for an English bond one and a half brick isolated pair so when we come to the next one two brick this one is nice and straightforward um, again we can just start off we'll start off with stretches on here stretch your face there and one of the rules that we're obviously going to be looking at is the closures the closure line always go through so again because we've got a header there we need a closure beside it so then we have symmetry so we have the two headers there and then we have the closure there as well and that leaves us two headers there drawn this way so we've got the headers got the closures and a header and looking on this face stretcher stretcher and again just spin that through 90 degrees so where we have our stretchers we now want our headers this way so header through there our closure our center header our closure so there we have our English bond again we'll just draw it out on here where we have a header and a header then we have our closure and our closure just following these down closures there and then in the center we have that joint there so again English bond um, a two brick isolated pier now when we come to larger pairs this one and um, again we need to uh, be talking about uh, a few things here because uh, there is um, a way where we're going to go back to the first pair that we saw because we've got the header in the middle here if we just had a quick little look at this again where we if this was going to be pulled out wider and we get a header in the middle there then it would mean this course would have two headers in it so if I was just to quickly sketch this we would have if I draw it this way around and we are going to be two and a half bricks so that means we are going to have closure header header closure header there so we've got header, closure, header, header, closure, header. Now when we come to like putting this on the next course here, we can see that we have a header in the centre. So that would be the arrangement of this. Now this um, is acceptable, um, but you can see we do have what we see as a broken bond because a header has been introduced into the stretcher course. But again, this is acceptable. Um, there is a way of doing it, which is um, 
uh, more pleasing to the eye, but going back to the first one we looked at, where we had lots of three quarters, we again could put three quarters into this, where we would have a three quarter and a stretcher. So this is a three quarter and a three quarter. This is our stretcher, and that just means that the next course is all headers. So if we draw that in the first uh, on here, we can see that all of these and all of these would be three quarters down there. So these are all three quarters. All of those and all of those and these are all stretches and again we spin it round to have uh, them going this way so again we would have our three quarters this way and then we'll be coming down this way for our headers so again more pleasing to the eye because we do have uh, an unbroken bond. We have three quarters there, just to, because obviously we've shortened um, the wall a little bit uh, so that we don't have the um, stretches there. And obviously with the three quarter that eliminates the need of the closures. Um, but if we just go back to the, the other one that we drew, uh, where we go back with the closures, and so header closure, header closure, you can see here that we would have because if if we had that as a stretcher and that as a header then remember what we said a long time ago um, header closure stretcher would be Flemish bond and you can see here we've got Flemish bond so we have to have headers in there to keep this as English bond so you see that we just kind of get like a zip in the middle of the wall so again this is ex uh, is acceptable um, to have this um, broken bond in there because uh, this course is the header course which is fine you see this one here is just the introduction of this because we are two and a half brick um, but again broken bond it is acceptable and we do have a balanced pair where we have a stretcher and a stretcher and a header and a header uh, this one however I feel looks better um, but you do have the additional cut uh, the next one we look at will be the same size pairs but we will look at these in Flemish Bond.